So one night recently I was mindlessly scrolling through Instagram and then came across some new film equipment that I thought seemed like a pretty interesting design. So I got in contact with the company to see if I could possibly test it out. A week or so went by doing the usual things and then I got a text. All right, here it is. I mean, to be honest, it's a piece of fabric really, but <laughs> it's a pretty interesting design that they've made. So it's this company called Bluff Bounce, started by Nicholas Bluff. They make these bounce fabrics for frames. So usually you would just have like a white ultra bounce that you'd bounce the light in, or you would have a black fabric to take the light away. And what they've done is sort of taken it a step further by adding these natural colors of the environment around into the fabric. So you can see they have these fabrics that match, you know, the sky and the beach or this like cityscape one with this gray, the grass and the sky, or if you're out in the jungle somewhere. So, you know, it's pretty cool. So this one I've got is a blue sky and a beige, which is like, you know, sand or bricks or something like that. And then this is the sky. All right, so what I'm gonna do is put in a frame outside, bounce some lights into it, bounce the sun into it, maybe even shine a light through it, see what that looks like and then see what it looks like compared to other materials as well and see what the effect is giving us. Okay, so let's do it. Do one of those cut transitions. All right, so this first one is the 1200D bounced into the bluff bounce and then it's coming back in through the window and that's what's lighting my face. Then for some reason I decided to put this hat on because I thought it looked like this one shot I'd seen in Oppenheimer. What am I doing? So then I went back out and swapped it over to this white material to see what the comparison would be. And normally this would be like an ultra bounce, but I didn't have one, so I'm just using this white diffusion, but it'll still bounce the light in. So here's the comparison of the two. And after this, I thought maybe I'll try on another side of the house where the sun is, and I'll just try to bounce the sun into the room and see what that looks like. So it's pretty subtle, especially on my skin. And maybe because there's a lot of natural daylight bouncing all around the room, you know, if it was in a studio, you may see the effect a little bit stronger. But it's also really interesting what it's doing to all these other objects around the room. You can see all these hints of the sky and the ground color in these specular sort of reflective objects, which if that was like a white ultra bounce, you would just have white reflection. So it's pretty cool. Because it is very subtle, you know, I'm sure there are people who couldn't tell one short for another but it, i think for me i like the the details of things you know like i was sitting one day and then just like looking at my hands like how can i make this light that comes in from the window i have these next to our apartment there are like some big white beige buildings um and i just thought like this light is not white it's all has some sort of color you know it's bouncing off a building that has a color there's the sky this gives like this blue feel and also the for the reflection and then I just started experimenting with different fabrics. Um, and then after I made one, I started posting some pictures and people were like, ah, oh, this is cool. Where can I, where can I get this? What is this? It works really great behind kitchen windows that I have some sort of diffusion or bathroom windows. Um, and I think that's, that's a cool way of using them too. Here in Brazil, like sometimes we have to shoot in like a really high sun and it's just nice to have a bounce that is not like blinding you. Like I personally, don't like ultra bounce. I think it's too too strong. This white bounce, and I think they were kind of made for a time of like uh, analog, like shooting on film, right? Where you needed more exposure, you needed to get more light in there. But now the camera sensors are so sensible, and we don't necessarily need that punch. We just need a little little extra to fill. Um, and I think they make that fill light in a much more natural way. All right. So lastly, I've used this other smaller window that I've got. So I'm sitting facing away from it and using it as more of a backlight. So the only other light I've got is just this flexi light panel that's lighting my face. So yeah, it definitely seems to be more noticeable on darker objects like that dark side of my face and all the wooden surfaces around the house. 
Well, that's it. If you want to check out Nicholas's company, I'll put a link in the description. He's just a small little business, but I think it's pretty cool what he's doing. So, okay. Bye. Whoosh.